We're in a small town called Manila. This place is called Fly Manila and it's owned by Godfrey Wenis. He hosts everything from extreme mountain biking to four wheel drive competitions and of course his specialty paragliding. He does tandem jumps, he does training, he does certifications and has one of the best mountains in all of the country. They are also a pet friendly campground and welcome people to bring their caravan or trailer. Accommodations are clean and cheap. Nine to twelve dollars a night for camping and twenty dollars a night for bunks. Cabins are available upon request. Fresh bedding is provided daily, power is available for caravans and quick Wi-Fi is free. We've got our van set up over here. We've got it plugged in. We got lots of water. Amenities are just over here. Camp kitchen is in there. And all these cabins are uh, up for grabs. Godfrey is an interesting fellow. Uh, I haven't seen this before, but he has emus for pets. The two emus names are Bonnie and Clyde. Which is also kind of funny because when I was a kid, our two farm dogs, they were named Bonnie and Clyde. There's their clubhouse. Pool. Trust me on the hot days that we've been experiencing over the last little while. This is going to be a godsend. Agnes is still mulling over whether or not she wants to try paragliding. It is a little intimidating, I have to say. I was on top of that mountain yesterday. And what you have to do is run off the edge of the hill, the mountain. It's, it's a very gradual descent. It's not like you're jumping off a cliff and you don't feel that same sensation, I'm told, as you would if you're skydiving or bungee jumping. But you have to run off the cliff until the wind picks you up and you catch the updraft. So, <laughs> I definitely am not gonna turn down the opportunity to do so. How hot are you, Agnes? I'm done. I'm so over the heat. It's 38 degrees today. It's been like 38 degrees for like a freaking three weeks. Yeah. One day where it was 24 and I was like, oh no, how will I handle it? I handled it. I liked it. I liked it a lot. I'd like to see one of those at least once a week, please. We had a thunder shower roll in and it rained for about 10 minutes. Still didn't cool down uh, the mountain much. Tell me about gravity enduro bike racing. It happens really quick. <laughs> it's all time based and they've got um, little thingamajiggers that the thingamajiggers catch them on to get their time, like you know, when you're at running events. I don't stopwatch. No, it's not a stopwatch. It's like a built in like gidget that you wear like on your shoe. So when you cross the line, the, the meter reads it and stops it. Mm -hmm. It's like, I, it's the same function as a stopwatch, but it's more sophisticated. Mm -hmm. But we didn't want to get in their way um, as much as we really wanted to get in there and see what they were doing and see what the track was like. But at the same time, by the time we got down from the top to see where they were leaving from, they were already done that trail. <laughs> so they're pretty fast, those buggers. We're at the top of Mount Bora. And it's raining. And we're going to go paragliding today. Fly Manila. I'm up with uh, Evo, who is a paraglider instructor and tandem pilot. So hopefully we can get a crack in the weather and get up into the air. You lean forward mm -hmm. and start running. Don't stop until I tell you to stop and sit back. On a great adventure. Never gone flying this way before.
Sure. We did it. But good. The guys that we met at Fly Manila were what really stood out to me. These guys came from all corners of the world, Argentina, South Africa, England, to name a few, because of their shared passion and enthusiasm for the sport. Watching them up in that mountain was quite an experience. While they were setting up their gear to take off, there's a kind of grace and elegance to the whole process which makes it beautiful to watch. It was because of their passion, their enthusiasm, that I was inspired to overcome my own fears and go for a tandem flight. And it didn't hurt that I'd be getting away from the flies. Great. You look like that Charlie Brown character, Pigpen. Yeah.